Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hina with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, we're going to take you back to the Cargo Connect table and we're looking at doing missions with a color sensor. What we want to do is be able to answer the question, can you use a color sensor to do missions? So the answer is yes. I would definitely encourage you to use uh, sensors, especially if your team is trying to get your missions a little bit more consistent. And so today what I want to do is take you to the table use a line following um, program to get some missions done. So if you want to see that, stay with me. He now Lego Robotics. Oh yeah. So guys, you can obviously take a look at the table and see that they have put a black line down many of the mission models to aid your team if you're going to use a color sensor to get those missions done. It's just going to help your robot not veer off um, like it does when we don't use a sensor. So teams that are going to use this are going to have to be very familiar with programming and being able to know that that color sensor and which way is it going to um, lead them, which mission model are they trying to get to, and incorporating the other, you know, if you have a medium motor involved, to be able to incorporate that to get this mission done. So let's go to the table. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and talk about the plan here. So I'm going to follow this black line right here, which is really cool because it takes me past this platooning truck, the bridge, and it actually takes me right there to the airdrop. So when we're looking at points here, we're going to latch this truck on here for 10. We're going to knock this bridge over for another 10, 20. I'm going to actually line follow and come back and hit this part of the bridge for 30. And this, this black line should take me right there to knock that food drop off for another 20. So we're looking at 20, 30, 40, and 50 points, all in this line following program. So let's check this out. Just gonna put my robot right there. Here we go. Okay guys, let's go ahead and count these points as we go here. Platooning truck is gonna be first. That is latched. There's one side of the bridge, there's the other side. And we're gonna come over here and watch this thing fall. There we go. There is our 20 point food package. And there you go, guys. So there's 50 points, 20, 30, 40, and that truck is latched for 50, all using a line following program. So yes, we can use these line following programs to help you guys get points and to hopefully, you know, be more consistent than we would if we're just having this robot navigate around the board. Okay, so let's go over the setup here. We're gonna line follow and you can see the attachments that I have on this robot. I'll tell you what those are for in, in a second. So we're going to line follow and we're going to get all the way over here to the airdrop and those attachments over there on the left side of my robot, they're going to activate the airdrop or the food package for 20. And then it's going to turn and end up following this line here. And that front end attachment is going to be used to push this train. And we're assuming that your team already drop this and we'll push it all the way over here for 20. So we're hoping for a 40 point line follow here. Let's check that out. Okay, let's go ahead and see this program. The band is playing outside. So if you hear a hideous noise, it ain't me. All right, let's go ahead and check this out. Okay, we're gonna come over here to the airdrop first. There we go. Get that thing latched. Yes. Okay, so that train is latched for 20. And this food package. Wow, where'd the food package go? There it is. That dropped for 20. So there is our 40 point line following program for this robot. Okay, guys, so there you have it. We use the color sensor to be able to do the platooning truck, the bridge, 
and then that airdrop. So it was able, you were able to knock out three of those missions in just that one line following program. So you also want to take into account that when your team goes in for robot design, having a sensor or sensors is huge because that's what they're looking for. They're looking to see that you're utilizing your sensors to be able to make your missions more consistent. If you check your rubrics, that is something that they want to check off. So you know, you can use sensors also to start your program, but they're looking also for sensors being used out there in the field to be able to aid your team's robots. So it's something to heavily consider, and hopefully today you're able to see how that's utilized you know, to get these missions done. So. All right, guys, hopefully you're still having a good start, beginning. I don't know where you guys are in your Cargo Connect season, but hopefully the videos that I've shown you about the points and the missions um, have helped. And hopefully today's one has helped for those of you that are trying to get line following to help you guys get missions done. Okay, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys, take care.